let's see what we can find on the internet today. I'm riding with the gang, I be riding with them AKs. Side buzzing, bro, they have out busting rain. All my niggas pull up on this block and let it rain. All my niggas really ready to bust in your brain. Yeah, yeah, but you know we thuggin'. Yeah, to have a boss like this, you gotta be fun to fuck. Yeah, streets, yeah. How you think I made a name in the fuck streets? My little brother here, L3. L3, yeah. What is up my fellow clout goblins? It is your big homie, Daddy D, and today I'm giving out all the free clout because I'm teaching you how to become a white rapper just like this kid in five easy steps. Let's get it. Eh, eh, eh. All right, so step number one is basically you just wanna be white. Preferably the kind of white kid that wears like Hollister, Abercrombie & Fitch, Polo Ralph Lauren, you know, anything like that will work. Guys, look at my closet. All my Under Armour, Abercrombie, and Hollister products. I can't even fit them all in here. Um, it's really great if you have like the long swoopy skater hair that's not threatening at all. And uh, you can get plus one clout coin if you actually take mirror selfies. So that's definitely something to look into. Um, so yeah, your base start point for a white wrapper looks a little something like this. All right, step number two. You gotta learn how to freestyle. Now, I'd suggest only ever practicing this step in public. That way, whenever your bars are weak, you can get absolutely roasted for it. Now, the best and fastest method for learning how to freestyle is rap battling your friends because there's nothing that builds confidence quite like getting verbally abused and violated by the people you love. Yo, you're gay. You suck fakes. Oh, all night that your face all welds up and it fades away yo what you're gay now after you've had your first rap battle you should probably realize that your bars are hella weak but you can't admit this and you cannot take blame for it because rappers do not have a low self-esteem so hey. what you need to do is find somebody else to blame yeah. for you sucking so hard the perfect target for this is probably your parents hey. You need to basically get really mad at them for sticking together, raising you in a good neighborhood, and always providing for you because now you don't have struggles to rap about and that's hella lame. Be sure to blow up on them for absolutely everything and cuss them out. That way you can get a few extra clout tokens on the screen. Could you take debit? Trojan, America's trusted number one condom brand. Once you've gained all the clout that you possibly can from hating on your parents, you need to take all of that nonsensical hatred and use it to fuel a YouTube search for dank, trap, hip-hop, rap type beats. Once you find that heat, you need to look through the comments and get way too excited about some lukewarm bars somebody left in the comments section and steal that shit. Copy paste those flames into a word doc and remember the frick out of them. That way you can trick people into thinking you can spit a dope freestyle. Now plus one clout voucher if your rap has anything to do with something you definitely don't have like guns, drugs, or hoes. I got my gun. Let's go find this hater and put a bullet in this head because it's gonna be the one dying no one else every mother member of this crew is gonna be the one living the haters the one that's gonna die so let's make it quick all right so step number three now that you have a dope freestyle ready to drop at any moment a hater says something you need to start taking yourself way too seriously i'm talking cop all of the bad alcohol baggy clothes fake jewelry and tats that you can possibly afford and start flexing on the gram as often and as hard as possible. And plus one clout tampon if you get face tats straight from the jump. Step number four. Now that you've got your freestyle basically locked down and you're wearing a fresh new fit, it's time to just gather some marketing materials. And the way I would suggest doing that is by going to Facebook and DMing some kid and telling him that you're willing to pay for some album art. Now, whenever he sends you a low resolution proof, 
you're just gonna screenshot that thing and tell him that it's absolute trash and you want nothing to do with him and you're just gonna have somebody on Fiverr do it. Plus one clop tarantula if you boost the saturation and clarity of the image that he sends you. Go ahead and post your new album art on Facebook with the caption, don't sleep on it. This will help build some suspense and let people know that you've got something cooking and that they should look out for it. Oh, and don't forget to uh, like your own status. That way you get an extra plus one clout razor blade. Step number five. So at this point, you have some promo going for your first album and you're ready to drop some music. What you're gonna do is not invest at all into any studio equipment. Trust me, bro, that is a waste of money that you could spend on drip like this, and you don't want to do that. I assume by this point you have enough clout to have an iPhone, and yeah. that mic will do you just fine, so just stick with that. You also don't need to hire a producer, because you can just rip beats from YouTube, kind of like the ones we found back in step number two. And plus one clout vape mod if you pick a beat that's already popular. So basically this is where it like all comes together. You're gonna get super drunk or high or both with your boys in a car and you're gonna blast that recently pirated YouTube beat through the shittiest speakers that you have. Then you're gonna have your boy film you vertically spitting that super dope freestyle that you wrote like three or four months ago over the stolen YouTube beat. Now, I would suggest doing like three to four takes. That way, in case you mess up or your boys don't react to your bars the way you want them to, you can just upload the best version. Now, with the right amount of clout juice, you should look a little something like this. And I'm gonna be professional and ass wet up. The whole world's in his hands. He's the boss. Thank you, Jesus Christ. He died for us on that cross. So we might hit the whole fight. He's driving on the level of the night. And I'm a rapper. 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 I'm and you're just gonna say, your boy went off. That way it looks like an authentic freestyle that nobody was expecting. And plus 1000 clout spaghetti noodle strainers, if all of your boys are white and they not so subtly refer to you as their N word in the post. So a few days are gonna go by and you're only gonna get like two likes on your Facebook post and you're just gonna need to get like really, really aggressively angry about this. And you're gonna go ahead and make a Facebook status that says things like, I don't know, F the haters. Um, I don't understand how people could overlook my skills and then subtly mention how the video has like 33 views but only like two likes and how the other 31 people are just little bitches and they can feel free to delete you on Facebook. And really that's about it my guys. Uh, yeah, once you start making angry Facebook posts as a white rapper, you basically made it. Uh, so I hope this video has helped you achieve your dreams of becoming a white rapper. And uh, if you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you click that plus one clout button down below and leave me a comment letting me know how many white rappers you know, because like my whole crew is full of them. But um, yeah, dude, I'm gonna hit this vape. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace. I'm smoking on all the clout right now, dude.
you couldn't get this much clout if you tried, Hobie. <laughs> I got like five AirPods. Now I got like five tears. Yo. Someone went and jacked one. One of my biggest fears. Dude. I got like five.